Okay, here's our next CNC project. It's called the Hanoi Tower. It's a MDF board with three three-quarter inch dowels uh, glued into it. So you're gonna cut out the board on the CNC router, cut out the holes. This you want to press fit for the dowels to fit in there. And then it has six rings to it, and these rings slide over. This is a slip fit, so you want to make the hole inside of these about a sixteenth over the diameter of the peg. And these start at four and a half inches and go down a half inch on diameter all the way up on these six rings. So this is our next CNC project. It's a great math puzzle. What the puzzle is, again, it's called the Hanoi Tower, and you want to move all of these rings over to another peg in as few moves as possible. And the rules are you can only move one ring at a time, and the second rule is a larger ring cannot go on top of a smaller ring. And it works out to be a, a pretty interesting sequence. I mean, first, we'll just use one ring. So how many ways could I do it? How, what's the fewest number of ways I could do it with one ring? Well, that would be one. Now, if I had two rings, number of ways I could, the least number of ways I could move them to another peg following those rules would be one, two, three. Okay? So if n is the number of rings in the game, so this is number of rings, and then this is how many moves, or the number of moves. This would be your x independent variable, this is y your dependent variable, and with one ring, we could do it in one move. With two rings, we did it in three moves. Now let's try three rings. Let's see, so I'm starting with three rings. I'd make one move, two moves, three moves, four moves, five, six, seven. So with three rings, I could do it in seven moves. Now I'm going to go up to four rings. And I can see this is increasing at an increasing rate. So now I have four of the rings. Let's see how many moves I can do it in here. I have one move, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So with four rings I could do it in fifteen moves. And I'm starting to see a pattern here. I'm going to do it again with five rings and six rings and look. And you'll actually see it's going to be a binary sequence. And what it is is it's going to be two to the n minus 1, and that's actually what our dependent variable is. So 2 to the first is 2 minus 1 is 1. So this right here would be equal to 2 to the first minus 1, 2 minus 1 is 1. Right here I would have 2 squared 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. Right here I would have 2 to the n, number of rings, 2 to the third minus 1. 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8. 8 minus 1 is 7. And then right here, the function is still 2 to the n, the number of rings, minus 1. This is 16 minus 1 is equal to 15. So if I had 10 rings, I could figure out how many moves would be the least number I could do it in. So it's a great CNC project. Again, we're going to do the base, cut the dowels, put the dowels in the hole, and then we're going to cut out all of our rings. Remember to cut the in, inside circle out before the outside circle. Um, and let's go ahead and build a noise tower. First designing it on the CNC router and MasterCam, and then we'll go out and run it, and then we'll finish up this chart. Okay?